Good morning. Welcome to another Go Good Jojo video. This is day 61. Yay! I am two thirds the way through my first 90 day challenge. Um, I had a really awesome weekend this weekend. Uh, and I had a choice. I had a choice to make it an awesome weekend or a choice to stay home in bed because I'm in the middle of a really bad gallbladder flare up. I was in the emergency room all day Friday and I have to have emergency surgery at the beginning of this week to have it removed. So I could have stayed home on pain pills and just been all oh, poor me, but I decided not to because I've been waiting for a month to go to um, the Visalis Regional training event in San Jose on Saturday, and I'm so glad I went. A lot of things happened for me in that many hours that I was there. And it's funny because I was, when I signed up, I didn't realize it went from like 10 to six. And I thought, oh my God, that's a long time. Like, how are we gonna be there for that long? And after being there, I know, because the time flew by, like it's just the energy, the power, the stories, the, the founders, just all of it put together. Tara, she's awesome. Just everybody, it's amazing. Um, it's uplifting. So I want to talk this week about fear. First, real quick, um, I lost two pounds last week, a little less than I had hoped for. I did pretty good, but I didn't eat as much as I should have. And that I think is due to my gallbladder. So my body's probably in survival mode and storing carrots as fat. So, <laughs> um, but that's okay. It's a loss. So it's a gain. Um, so the videos that I put up last week were scary for me, but I faced my fears. Um, and it was funny because everything this week seems to surround for me around facing fears, you know, having the choice of letting fears overpower us and stop us from being ourselves because we live in this conditioned world where we believe that we have to put on an image and talk about other people and point out their negatives and their flaws to avoid seeing our own. And, um, we, we don't better ourselves in any way that way. Actually, we hurt the people we, we point things out about and we hurt ourselves because we all have flaws and we're not facing our fears when we do that. So when we break through that fear and we say, hey, this is me, check me out. Like this is me, this is all of me and I'm giving you all of me. This is who I am. I found out this weekend that people really, really respond to that. Um, I had no idea until I got to that room full of hundreds of people and so many people came up to me and were like oh my god you're Jojo I love your videos you're so inspiring um, I made some really great new friends Douglas is one of them his story is amazing um, and just brought me to tears uh, lots of people that I've met online and became friends with now we got to meet in person and talk and hang out and like what I realized is that they're all just people like me, you know what I mean? Like, it's okay to be ourselves. It's okay to say, hey, this is all of me. And in accepting ourselves, then we wanna better ourselves. See, when we're not accepting ourselves, what's there to better? Because we're pretending we're so perfect and we've got it all figured out and we know what matters. And for me, what matters is the things in life that sustain me, um, which aren't things which aren't images, which have nothing to do with all that superficial outer crap that I think is generated by our fear of just being with us. And so I learned this week so strongly what it means for me to face my fears and to just be me. And that is the most amazing gift so far in this transformation. Uh, you know, 36 pounds down, and uh, I may not reach my goal of 75 pounds, but I'm gonna get darn close, and that's okay. Like, I'm gonna be starting another 90-day challenge. But what has happened for me with the 36 pounds I've lost is so much more. Uh, I just can't explain in words how strong it feels to be a part of a group of hundreds of people who really care about my success, who care about me, and um, who think I'm special just as I am. And I think you're special just as you are. So to anyone out there who's feeling like, you know, they don't wanna face who they are, face it, conquer that fear, accept you, say, hey, I accept you, fear, I accept you here. Now I can love you to death. <laughs> so you go away. You guys have a most blessed day. Um, if you wanna join me on a challenge, check out my link. 
please. I appreciate your votes. This means a lot to me. I'm really all in on this challenge. And I'll keep you updated on how my surgery goes this week. I love you all. Have a great week.